Hi there everyone, welcome along. Today we're going to have a quick run through on the unlimited money that you can have in Farming Simulator 22. Now, I'll state from the start, this does only work on PC. So console players, you can use the government subsidized mod, etc. Get yourself a lot of money in that way, but for PC, we can do it another way. So what we need to start with is a career or a save game. So you'll see here, I have save game one this becomes important in a couple of minutes so it is important that you you know which game save you are working with you'll see here game save one i'm currently on obelleron and i've got about 22 and a half million pounds in the bank or euros i should say now i'll show you how i did that okay so the first thing we need to do is open up a copy of windows explorer and navigate to our documents folder so we'll find that under this pc documents this will take us to the default areas where farming simulator 22 will have installed itself it should be under my games now if you've elected to use different folders to install it you'll have to navigate to there but here we're just going to the farm sim 22 folder opening that up and we will now see that we've got a list of all those saved game slots now we're dealing with save game number one so we'll open that folder and the file that we are particularly interested in is the farms xml file now this is a file that we'll just open using notepad i have notepad plus plus installed in mine so that's whenever i open it it opens up in notepad plus plus notepad works perfectly fine with this as well now this up here is the value that we are interested in we will see that equals the money that i had in my bank account if I change that and now say, what is that, 1.2 million? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, it's 12 million. So I've now got 12 million as opposed to 22 million. I'll tell you what, I don't want that. I'll give myself 52 million. So simply save that and close that file. Now I've also got the career save game XML open here. And that is this file up here. The reason I've got that open is just to show you that it does also have a money tag in it. Now that money tag doesn't actually do anything. Now all that does is show you the value whenever you're loading your saved game. It doesn't actually enter any money into the game. It just says this saved game has that much associated with it. Whenever you go into the game and start playing, resave it, it will overwrite this. So just to re-emphasize the one you actually need to change is in the farms file right at the top of it. And there we've got 52, I'll tell you what, we'll make it exact so it's easier to follow. 52, 500, 1000 pounds. So I'll log back into my farm sim save game and we'll see that I now have that value. Okay, we're back in the game. If I load up my career, we see here the value hasn't changed. And that's because I didn't change the value in that career save game file. So that's what I mean by it's just displaying it on the screen. But if I click in and load this one, we'll see the actual money has changed. So here we go, we're back in the game and we have got 52.5 million. It's as easy as that. Now, again, this does only work on PC. We'll have to emphasize that. It doesn't work on any of the consoles. If I save this game and exit back out, just do a quick demonstration and we will show that that value changes on the load screen as well now that's because i've saved the game and it's overwritten itself so here we are back into career open that up and we see now game save one 52.5 million now i should say i'm playing through steam here as well it may differ if you've got the game from other sources i don't know how it works if you've bought a hard copy and you've loaded it on but the actual file you're looking for stays the same so guys hopefully that helps you out it makes the game a bit more enjoyable for those that uh, don't want to play too realistically. I am Walter P. Barnstormer. Please hang around, look at the rest of my videos, leave a comment down below if you find this useful. Thank you very much and I will hopefully see you on my Elm Creek series very shortly. Bye now.